conceptual people talk about it all of the elements hello everybody dr rick wallace uh first of all i want to thank everybody uh who over the years have in some way supported me whether it's sharing my information buying my books reading uh, thousands of articles that I've written on numerous topics that explore the reality of uh, black existence in America and throughout the diaspora. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for those, thank, say thank you to those who have reached inside of your pocketbooks and supported the work we do in the community, whether it be for research, whether it be for uh, our media outlet, whether it be for Black Men Lead, uh, Restoring Ghettos, Forgotten Daughters, Music is Life, uh, Black uh, Empowerment Initiative, and uh, other work that we're doing. We're excited about the new move into uh, being more uh, applied to providing resources for mental health, especially for young Black males. Uh, we are really pushing and making progress despite all of the challenges. So again, for those of you who have been helpful and supportive over the years, we want to say thank you. I am going to be here now just really quickly asking you, uh, don't forget about Born in Captivity. This is my 19th book. It's a book that addresses uh, the traumatic dynamic, uh, the dynamic of traumatic experiences uh, being passed down through multiple generations and how it impacts our behavior today. Uh, just to give you an idea of some of the things that we cover here, we talk about racist uh, propaganda as a racist weapon, uh, the black on black crime argument and myth, the miseducation of African American youth, the disintegration of the black family nucleus. We go on to an identity crisis, special education as socioeconomic weapon, the psychology of racism failing to define the black identity. African-American adolescent and young adult male violence, racial trauma and African-Americans. And we look at so many different elements. Those of you who know me know that I'm not real big uh, with talking about problems without offering solutions. So this is not just an identifier of many of the elements and issues or enigmatic issues we face as a black collective. This is what we're facing and how we confront it. Um, I am very proud of the work we've done here with this book. I am currently working on the next book. I'm going to share that with you. Uh, so I'll have two books come out this year, one on personal development and one on uh, addressing issues within the black community. I'm excited about that. But you can get this book. The link will be available in the video by the time you see it. Uh, you can Google it or whatever, but it's out there. It's at Barnes & Noble, Sony Books, Kobo Books, Amazon, and so many other places. Or you can get it from me at a discounted price and uh, signed. Uh, but definitely, if you want to get a better understanding of what we're facing and how we confront it, this is a good place to start. Uh, as I said, I'm extremely, I'm extremely proud of it, and I'm excited about what's coming next. We have so much more to do. Uh, me as an individual, the Odyssey Project as an organization, and the Blacks as a racial collective. I'm looking forward to it. Again, for those of you who have supported us, we want to say thank you. Continue to support us in whatever ways that you feel uh, uh, inspired to do. And we're going to keep putting in work. Once again, thank you. You guys have an unbelievable day. I'm out. Here I come, ready or not. Frank Ocean made this record hot. Uh, people talk Real about talk, it. I ain't throwing shots. Careful who you